Yo, go yo guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we talk about Tropical Storm Estelle, which is now 65 miles an hour, I don't think it's 65 miles an hour right now, I think it's at least 55 to 50 miles an hour. Uh, this will be a quick update guys, um, because I have to go to bed to school for tomorrow, so this is my last day tomorrow, yes. Any, but anyway, we're getting off topic, so uh, offshore of Central America and Southern Mexico, a broad area of low pressure is expected to form later this week, a, a few hundred miles offshore of Central America and Southern Mexico. Some gradual development is possible late, late this week or, or this weekend, while the system moves gradually northwestward. Formation chance in the next 40 hours is low near 0%. Formation chance in the next 5 days is low near 20%. So I'll show you tropical tidbits now. Here is the satellite imagery of um, Tropical Storm Estelle. Not really looking that good right now. I have to say so myself. Um, uh, this will probably be a quick five minute video. I'm going to show you GFS 91W. 91W is meant to uh, form. I'll show you. Keep watching the low pressure area. The GFS wanted this to form earlier on today. This morning, about 2 a.m., they wanted a flipping kind of three out of this system, which was impossible because GFS has always been on the um, drunk side. GFS was uh, drunk yesterday, it was drunk last week. Well, this is the latest GFS run. Um, so here we are. So here is the um, the storm about a category 3 making a landfall on um, Taiwan and you got another one here basically a hitch to Japan so I will show you the El Nino and Southern Oscillation um, we're now heading back into a La Nina, as you can see. We we are going back. We are going slightly back up a bit, like that. But that's still going down. But it's going straight. Um, So, I'll also show you the uh, how warm the Atlantic is right now. North Atlantic. It's pretty warm. Uh, 31 degrees in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Like bath water there. You know how warm it is. It's just purely bath water right now um, so any strong hurricane that comes out from the Caribbean like this and moves over Cuba once they move over Cuba could have some prime time over the um, over the uh, Gulf and not do anything so and do some up so yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. See you in the next video. Peace and have a great day.